May the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Today's gospel message title is, Don't Give the Enemy a Chance, James 4, 7. In a world filled with temptations and distractions, the enemy seeks every opportunity to derail us from our spiritual journey. But God has given us the power to resist. Let us listen to the word of God. I am reading from James 4, 7. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Reflection. In this powerful verse from James, we are reminded of the spiritual battle that rages around us every day. The devil, often described as a roaring lion, seeks to devour those who are vulnerable, those who stray from God's path. But James gives us a clear and powerful command. Submit to God and resist the devil. This is not just a passive act of faith. It is an active daily commitment to place ourselves under God's authority and to stand firm against the enemy's schemes. Let's consider a story that illustrates this truth. A young man, who we will call John, struggled with anger and bitterness after being wronged by a close friend. Every day, the enemy whispered lies into his heart, encouraging him to seek revenge, to hold on to his pain. John felt justified in his anger, but he also felt distant from God, as if a heavy weight was pulling him away from the peace he once knew. One day, in the quiet of his room, John remembered the verse from James 4, 7. The words struck him deeply. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. John realized that by holding on to his anger, he was giving the enemy a foothold in his life. He wasn't just resisting his friend. He was resisting God's will for forgiveness and peace. Determined to change, John fell to his knees and prayed for the strength to forgive. He submitted his pain and his desire for revenge to God, asking for his guidance and peace. In that moment, John felt a release of burden lifted from his heart. As he continued to pray and seek God's help, he found the strength to forgive his friend. And in doing so, the enemy lost his grip. John experienced the truth of James 4.7. When we submit to God and resist the devil, the devil has no choice but to flee. This story is a powerful reminder that the devil preys on our weaknesses and tries to exploit our pain. But when we submit ourselves to God, we allow his strength to flow through us. As we resist the devil, we not only protect ourselves from his attacks, but we also draw closer to God, who is our ultimate protector. Other scriptures echo this command to resist the devil and stand firm in faith. Ephesians 6, 11, 13 tells us to put on the full armor of God so that we can stand against the devil's schemes. 1 Peter 5, 8 to 9 warns us to be alert and sober-minded resisting the devil by standing firm in our faith. These verses remind us that we are in a spiritual battle, but we are not alone. God is with us, equipping us with everything we need to stand strong. Application. Reflect on areas in your life where the enemy might be trying to gain a foothold. Are there places where you need to submit more fully to God's will? Perhaps it's in a relationship, a habit, an attitude, or even in your private thoughts. Ask God to reveal these areas to you and to give you the strength to resist the devil's temptations. The key is not to give the enemy a foothold. When faced with choices that challenge our values, remember that every decision matters. Pray for strength, stay committed to your principles, and resist temptation with the assurance that God will help you stand firm. Prayer points for today. 1. Pray for the strength to resist the devil and stand firm in faith. 2. Ask God to reveal any areas of your life where you need to submit more fully to His will. 3. 
pray for a heart that seeks peace, forgiveness, and reconciliation, rather than holding on to anger or bitterness. Closing Prayer Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for your protection and guidance. We submit ourselves completely to your will, knowing that in your strength we can resist the enemy's schemes. We declare that the devil has no place in our lives, our families, or our homes. As we stand firm in our faith, we proclaim victory over every attack of the enemy. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May you experience God's strength and clarity in every decision you face. Walk confidently, knowing that as you resist the enemy, you are empowered by God's unwavering support. Amen. Thank you for spending time with us today. May Almighty God abundantly bless you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with others so they may benefit as well. Thank you again, and God bless us all. Amen. Silent.